Moving to Macomb County, a barn owner is reaching out for help today after paying a roofer for repairs, only for the roofer to vanish after being paid and not finishing the job. Paula Tutman joins us from Washington Township. And Paula, with this storm approaching, she really needs this roof finished. Yeah, she really does. And not just a barn owner, but a farm owner and a nonprofit founder. I wanted to bring you inside this old farmhouse just to show you how she has hand lovingly restored it. Pay attention to this uh, attention to detail. I mean, this is professional work. And this is really the vision that she had for six buildings total on the entire farm. But I got to tell you something. She is getting seriously jammed. Let me show you from the outside. This is the old Lambert Dairy Farm in Washington Township, and as you whiz down Old Van Dyke Road, you might even miss it. But inside the old farmhouse, the promise of new beginnings, a gift shop and boutique in the smell of Michigan-made potpourri and handmade gifts. This is Florence and Lawrence, the previous owner. It is the dream of Francis Kopicki to restore the entire 1800s farm to its natural grandeur, but she's gotten scrooged. And my boards are exposed. The elements are ruining my boards, which ruins the trusses. A job started by a South Lion builder three weeks ago has been left unfinished. A new roof for the main barn. Wait till you go in here. You're going to cry. You're going to cry because I wanted to cry. Look what he did to me. Mm -hmm. Made this nice mess. The elements now are going to make my the damage magnified. Francis paid a total of $16,000. The builder started the job and then disappeared. See over here, you can yeah. see the OSB board. It's totally covered. Over there, it's not. Even the township building supervisor has tried to reach him to get him to just finish the work. I have serious concerns about safety, though. Uh, all of the tear off material is covered with the snow and by walking up there you could be stepping on shingles with nails sticking through it, wood with nails sticking through it. The project is a significant one for the township. Not everyone is willing to buy an old farm in a developing community and save it for posterity and education. Francis has even registered as a nonprofit because her dream is to turn it into an educational farm by summer. It's very important because uh, we don't, with all the developing going on, you don't have a lot of farms left that can be restored in the community. So it's a landmark. It's a lot of historic value, and you want to keep that in the community. It's an asset. But that is all stopped because her money is gone. And every day that roof sits unfinished, exposing the insides to the elements. It's costing more money she doesn't have to fix it. You know what, this is pretty egregious stuff. There are great builders out there, but a builder like this guy makes all of them look bad. We haven't outed him. We've not called him by name because we're hoping he gets wind of this story and he makes right by this thing. But I'm going to tell you, Karen, we're going to stay on this. We're going to stay on this and we're going to make sure he does make right by this, either on his own or by applying some real pressure. In the meantime, Francis needs help. If anybody out there can help her get this thing fixed, we've got bad weather moving in. It's only going to get worse. Then they can help this entire township. But like I said, wow, talk about getting scrooged this close to Christmas. Not okay, Karen. Not okay. Not okay at all. We sure hope some folks are going to be able to help Francis and Paula. I do know you will stay on top of this story. All right. Paula Tutman live in Washington Township.